So, these are the knee pads that I usually run. They're the Fox Launch Pro. They've got the hard shell with a soft protective layer, like a, basically a soft layer of foam between the shell and your knee, which is really good. Uh, heaps of padding on the sides. These things are they're at least three years old. I'd say they're almost four years old. They've been through hell. They're killer. I've had to tie knots in the Velcro strapping just to shorten them up again because they've gotten long and, and stretched, obviously, the elastic stretch. So they're on their last legs. I needed new knee guards. Enter the Ion K Pack. So I bought these. Uh, they arrived a week or so ago. Got them from Mountain Bikes Direct. So I shop everywhere. I shop at my local shop, uh, which is Whippets. Uh, I'll use other shops to get certain things or whatever. Uh, you know, spread the love. Uh, Whippets is my main go-to. And Mountain Bikes Direct as well. They're always killer for me. Always treat me well. And, uh, you know, they've usually got what I need. So uh, they're really good. Anyway. Eye on K-Pack. I looked at so many reviews of so many different knee guards trying to find a good set of guards and uh, These ones five stars everywhere so many good reviews. Everybody loves them. They never move all sorts of cool uh, I think he, oh no, he's out here. All sorts of cool stuff said about them. Everybody loved them. So I bought them. I tried them on so these are large everybody said that they're they're quite small uh, sizing wise so size up definitely size up so I went a large these are large fit me perfectly the size is perfect now what I don't like about them is it's got this slow rebounding foam which a lot of pads are using these days it's a very hard shell now they say you know it's it's kind of soft and flexible which it it kind of is but it's it's definitely hard hardens on impact now the problem with that is it hardens on impact on both sides and with this k-packed pad it doesn't have you can't really see it because of the because it's a complete sleeve it seems like it does breathe well people say they breathe reasonably well they're not going to breathe as well as these because you've got the the clear hole here but there's literally no protection there's a there's a there's a thin sheath of material between your knee and that pad, uh, that that insert, but there's no there's no foam protection between you and that that hardening shell, uh, and they can be removed to wash them. They say you shouldn't wash this shell; you you just wash the actual pad itself. So I'll see if I can get this shell out. And I'll show you. So don't make it easy. That's a tight fit. There we go. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, girl. I'll be your best friend if you come out. I'd love to say here's one I prepared earlier, but I didn't think it was going to be this hard to get out. Here we go. So, pulling the shell out, that's, that's your protective foam. So, you know, it folds, it moves, it, it contours. So look at that. And then it's going to find its own shape again. What I don't like about this is it's really hard. You can hear that. So when you have an impact, that's what it feels on your knee. So I did the classic test, just stuck them on my leg and gave it a real hard crack. And it hurts. Like it, you know, it's not like, oh, that hurt. It's only I'm only cracking it. But if I was to have a big impact, that would absolutely cane my knee. So you're not going to walk away from a hard impact on the knee. It's just going to absolutely rattle you. It's short, you know, obviously it's not going to split you open. That's going to that's going to protect you from any sort of cuts or or splits of your knee. Uh, you know, shatter shattering or whatever. But the impact itself, you might as well just be hitting your knee with a hammer. That's what it feels like when I put it on my leg and hit it. And then to do a, a palate cleanse, I'll put this one back on. Gave that a real hard smack, and you hard, compared to this, you hardly feel it. I've had a heap of hard impacts on these on these pads, 
and they do move a little bit on a hard impact. They will slide down after impact, but they have well and truly saved my knees so many times, and that's why I keep going back to them. These are my second pair, and I always get a few years out of them. They are so good. Uh, but these ones, I had high hopes, you know, they're really good reviews and whatever, but I can't handle that. I do not like that hard impact of the, uh, you know, no protection between your knee and that shell. It doesn't make any sense to me, so. Uh, ion, okay, but, and reasonable coverage. I've also found that as it sits on your knee, so this contours around, as it sits on your knee, it doesn't seem to give me as much protection as these ones. It, it seems like there's gaps here, like you can kind of see that gap there anyway, but it feels like, so here, this one's still got us casing in. Right there on the side, you got a pad up here and a pad down here, but you got nothing on the side of your knee. It protects the front of your knee for sure, but you got nothing on the side of the knee here, which again, you can bang that stuff on, on tree stumps and all sorts of stuff. I want to be protected all around. I want to be protected on the sides as well. So this kind of has that gap as well. These have that gap a little bit there as well, but it's definitely not as much. There's a lot more protection either side. Um, the Launch Pro, they're, they're definitely my go-to. So if you're in the market for a new knee pad, suss them out. Uh, Daykind do a good knee pad as well, I'm pretty sure. But my only advice would be to stay away from these slow rebounding pads unless there's comprehensive padding between your knee and the pad because that really hurts. I had the IXS Flow, I think they were, elbow guards as well, which moved. Um, but apart from them moving all the time, always sliding down, which is most elbow guards, they also really, really hurt on impact. So if I was hitting something, testing them, uh, it just really hurts. It, it just, yeah, you're just banging your elbow against something hard. The idea of a pad is to create something soft between your elbow or your knee and the, and the impact site, you know, whatever you're impacting. So this, nah. Um, saying that, I paid 120 bucks for these, so I paid full price. They are for sale. Uh, I'm gonna move them on. If you're not bothered by that hard impact and you want that good protection, then hit me up. I'll probably sell them for a hundred bucks, you know, my loss. So, but for now, yeah, Ion, I don't approve. I approve of the, the fact that they don't ever move, and I do believe people when they say they don't ever move, but I just can't get over that hard impact. I don't want my knees to hurt after an impact. That's why I wear pads for. You want to protect your knees, uh, yeah. So, if you want them, holler at me, hundred bucks, they're yours. They're large, I usually wear a medium, they fit pretty pretty much perfect so nice and snug without being overly overly tight uh, with room to adjust for more so if they do stretch there's still room for adjustment there so if you a little bit bigger if you usually wear a large you're definitely going to want an extra large but anyway i'm going back to the launch pros i'm going to buy some new ones next week straight down to whippets because i know they're in they're in stock there so uh, i'll grab them and yeah back to the standards <laughs>